Oh, quartz vein. So this is where the actual gold, so this is pretty mineralized, probably recent. This is mineralized ancient, and as you can see, it's formed in the actual fractures. So if you were actually go and look for gold at the source, this will be the place you'd actually go. And as you can see, you've got a lot of uh, different quartz veins. So this will require a lot of work to actually get the gold out of because there's probably any trace elements. So that's why the deep leads are actually more important because it's already been we uh, worked. And as you can see, you do have some, but it's not really that much uh, quartz here. So it's pretty thin. So you need to go to another location to actually get a quartz reef. And here we have some shales. Obviously, this is easy to break compared to the actual sandstone. And obviously, I don't see any of the quartz reefs in the shales. I see it in the actual sandstones. Obviously I'm going up here and I don't see any quartz veins here at all. I do see some down there. It's not that many. So there is a quite a few down there. Quartz veins, but they're all too thin. It's really just not worth actually looking at uh, this type of material. You'd actually need one like um, I don't know, 10 centimeters to one meter thick to make it worth your while. And even if there is quartz and the gold, it'll all be actually washed down the river. So you need to go some way down the river to actually find the material. And this is an older deposit. So you could actually, so this is placed on top of the flood materials so and the flood deposits. So you can actually try your luck here, looking for uh, gold. So as you can see, the actual quartz has been uh, eroded out, weathered, transported. So, what I'd probably do is just do a few test bits and see what turns up. If there's uh, no material, then uh, you just move on. As you can see, it's lots of uh, lots of quartz, but a lot of it is non-mineralized. Then you have some um, igneous rocks as well. So this is Ordovician, and it has been metamorphosed a little bit. But also, you got this here, which is uh, artificial. It's all been placed there because of the road, so you don't get confused. Head east. But basically, this is uh, the outflow of uh, Lake Epilogue, or one of them. It's only used during floods. But in the previous time, this would just, just been a natural river. <laughs> 